Hello everyone, you're welcome to Jam Vibes. The time has finally come. The time that so many Zimbabweans and Botswana people actually wanted. The time that Africa needs. Guys, in today's video, apparently Zimbabwe and Botswana professionally agree on free movement of citizens between both countries without necessarily having a visa. Yo, before I give you all the entire details about what is ongoing and what has actually been passed as a new law, kindly do all to follow Jam Vibes, please. Like this video, drop a comment, and above all, share this video with all of your friends and loved ones. The presidents of Zimbabwe and Botswana have agreed in principle on the free movement of citizens and immigration officials from both countries, and this is definitely expected to work on the deal. If implemented, this will be the second of such scheme in Botswana. The first was with Namibia in February this year. Zimbabwean President Emeritus Mnangangwa, speaking to delegates at the 5th Kusi Festival of Ideas in Gaborone, Botswana, said he had reached an agreement with his counterpart, Moghitsi Masisi. In his words, we have agreed to instruct the officials that, henceforth, there should be no question of how to enter Zimbabwe or how to enter Botswana. We both agreed because we are both Africans. We should be able to go to Botswana, Zambia, and Kenya, Nangango said. As Zimbabwe is the country with the most economic problems in the region, Botswana and South Africa are seeing an influx of illegal immigrants. In early 2004, when Zimbabwe was going through one of its worst political and economic times, Botswana was deporting an average of 2,500 Zimbabweans per month. Sometime last year, the United Nations Working Group on Arbitrary Detention, that is, the WGAD, raised concerns about the punitive treatment of refugees, asylum seekers, and migrants in Botswana. Under existing agreements, citizens of both countries can use their passport for a maximum of 19 days or 3 months a year without a visa or work permit. In a region where illegal migrants are repeatedly criminalized, these agreements will not only reduce barriers to migration, but also boost trade and give each country and its people a much-needed economic boost. Economist Stevenson Lamini said it will be beneficial for both countries. In his words, this is a welcome step for informal cross-border traders, especially women. This will make their work easier, which is very important in eradicating poverty, he said. Botswana and Zimbabwe share a land border that stretches from 841 kilometers from three point of the border with Zambia in the northwest to three points of the border with South Africa in the southeast. The last time the border was defined was in 1959. There are four border crossing points between the two countries. Without necessarily judging, I want each and every one of you to tell me in the comment section what you think and how you feel based on what is ongoing already. How do you think that this cross-border kind of migration because of the fact that there is little or no visa, you know, uh, uh, acquaintance before a Zimbabwean can move to Botswana and before a Botswanian can move to Zimbabwe. How do you feel about it, guys? And uh, please do not be judgmental about it. I love you all so dearly. Do all to take good care of yourselves. Do not leave here without sharing this video to the ends of the world. And most importantly, yo, see you on our subsequent upload.